Hello and welcome to this video on how to design slides according to content. At No More, we really do care about beautiful design, but beautiful design has only meaning if it supports the content. We need to make sure that the following areas are designed with content in mind. First area would be general structure. Next area, visual enhancement. And lastly, icons. So let's start with the first area, which is general structure. So first of all, we always need to ensure correct hierarchy of texts, boxes, bullet points, and any other elements. You can see example on our slide on the right side, but of course here we just try to show you what we mean by the hierarchy. So you can see that there is some heading, then we have subheading, some side categories, then we have uh, arrow that points to another box and so on. So the whole slide has certain uh, hierarchy, right? Something is more important than other things and the slide has uh, own flow this way. So you always need to capture this correctly, but it really depends on the input. You need to study the input slide so you understand correctly this order of items and importance of them, so you can apply it well to your output slide. As a good example, we have in here also bullet points that you can see in the white box on the right side, and you can see that we have bullet points of different levels. So for this, you need to really study also input so you can implement these bullet points in the same logical way uh, to capture the correct levels. But of course, you will apply on top of it also correct guidelines. Next point is that you need to capture correct flow of information from first point to last point. As a next important thing, you need to make sure that in your slide is captured correct direction of arrows also correct placement of connectors and lines. It would be really a big mistake if, for example, in input slide, there are connected some boxes with connecting lines, and in output, we connect different boxes together. Of course, this changes the meaning of the slide. Therefore, we really need to look for these kind of things and recheck it. Another point is logical color coding of items. So, of course, this always depends on a specific client's guidelines, but generally the heading is usually the most prominent color and then subheading is a bit lighter and uh, some side categories would be even lighter and so on. Then we have also highlight color that takes us to the last point in the general structure. So we should only highlight important items and these items should be either suggested by input or very carefully, logically selected by us. So if it's suggested by input, it means that already in the input, you can see highlighted item and you carry this also to your output slide. Uh, otherwise, if it's item that is logically selected by you, that means that you read the content and from the content, you can see that this is a very important text because it's suggested in the text itself. For example, it says, main message of the slide or main takeaway of the slide or anything else or maybe it's this important then you can select this from your own initiative and highlight this box or text usually when it comes to text itself if something is bolded in input we have to keep it bolded also in the output so as you can hear it is really important to read the text to understand the correct hierarchy on structural level now let's move to enhancement. You always need to identify the type of slide you are working with. Is it a timeline, process, comparison, steps of some activity, or just regular naming of your points or bullet points? There are many different structures that might be recognized. So that's why you need to carefully understand the text. Based on that, you can pick a correct visual structure that will support this main idea of the slide. So that means that if your slides in the input have some dates and it's obviously a timeline, you can choose graphics that will support this and will show a certain timeline. But be careful because every time that you choose some enhancement, there might be already some graphics in it. For example, as you can see in the first slide with the umbrella and the rain cloud. So these graphic elements also need to be relevant to the content as well. So again, it is really important to read the text to be able to pick the correct enhancement structure. Now let's talk about icons. Icons must match the meaning of the text they belong to. It's really important that this meaning is captured well. 
otherwise those icons don't make any sense. In some cases, you cannot select icons only by checking heading text. You need to read more text to understand what icon to select. And this is what we can see in our example. In the red example, you can see that the icon is selected based on the heading text. So it's connected to Y. But if you think about it, does this icon tell us closer what the text is about in this box? Not really. It's just the question mark. The question mark can be connected to why, what. It's very not specific. In the green box, in the correct example, we can see that the designer read text a bit further. So we read the sentence, why should employees have a clear understanding of a company business strategy? And now we understand that if we put their icon of company business strategy, the viewer will right away know that this box talks about company business strategy, not just why. Because company business strategy is much more keyword than why. Another example could be that you could use employees understanding, but maybe for that it's a little bit harder to find the icon. But you want to capture the essence of the box and that should be portrayed in the icon. Because icon is ultimately there to make it easier to understand the content. The next part that is important is that if icon, keyword or key phrase repeats through the slides, we need to ensure that we always allocate the same consistent icon to this text. So if term company business strategy would repeat throughout multiple slides, we should always use the same icon for this term. And lastly, for more information about how to correctly word with icons, you can see our icon training video. Link can be found in the video description. And as conclusion for this area, again, it is important to read the text to select the correct icon matching the actual meaning of the text. So as you can see, that's the idea that goes through all of these three areas, because if you will read and understand the content, you will definitely make the right choices for all of these three areas, such as general structure, visual enhancement, and icons. Now, finally, we will just talk about few steps to follow for a good slide design. So start always with understanding task description and instructions. You will find out the basics, such as type of tasks, templates to use, and other important details. Then get familiar with guidelines and inspiration file. You will know how to design the slides. Then understand the content. You will know what to design. Then follow admin's guidance. You will know what adjustments to do to your design. And always recheck your slides thoroughly before submitting the final review. You will make sure that your design is spotless. And finally, use Content Checker tool. You will make sure that all clients' content is still in the slides, because as you know, without correct content, the design does not matter. And that is all for this video. So thank you very much for watching and see you on the No More platform.